Today is the day we remember Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But today is more than the remembrance of a man. Today is a day that we celebrate his legacy in helping to bring about peace in the face of oppression. A day to acknowledge the ways in which God inspired and worked through Dr. King, as well as all those that came before him, alongside him, and have fought for equality since the days of his assassination. America is a beautiful and wonderful place in which the seed of justice has been planted and has grown, but it has not yet reached its full potential. At a time when our nation seems divided, when it seems as though we've taken steps backwards, let us invoke the wisdom of Dr. King from his letters from a Birmingham jail in our prayer today as we seek holy wisdom and guidance and intervention from our Lord Jesus Christ. We remember the conviction of Martin Luther King Jr. that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Therefore, let us pray for courage and determination by those who are oppressed. We remember Dr. King's warning that a negative peace, which is the absence of tension, is less than a positive peace, which is the presence of justice. Therefore, let us pray that those who work for peace in our world may cry out first for justice. We remember Dr. King's insight that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We're caught in an in inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Therefore, let us pray that we may see nothing in isolation but may know ourselves bound to one another and to all people under heaven. We remember Dr. King's lament that the contemporary church is often a weak, ineffectual voice with an uncertain sound. It is so often the arch supporter of the status quo, far from being disturbed by the presence of the church, the power structure of the average community is consoled by the church's silent and often vocal sanction of things as they are. Therefore, let us pray that neither our congregation nor any congregation of Christ's people may be silent in the face of wrong and that we may be disturbers of the status quo when that is God's call to us. We remember Dr. King's hope that dark clouds of racial prejudice will soon pass away and the deep fog of misunderstanding will be lifted from our fear-drenched communities and in some not too distant tomorrow, the radiant stars of love and brotherhood will shine over our great nation with all their scintillating beauty. Therefore, in faith, let us commend ourselves and our work for justice to the goodness of Almighty God. Amen.